Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? Let's get into today's video. What do these cats up to? So guys, it is Tuesday and it is around a uh, uh, what? No, it's quarter past seven. What the heck am I doing up at this time? Yeah. Anyway, so guys, before I get into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, please, and the subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell because I'm seeing people view my videos but not liking them, and it helps me know where I can improve. Also, I do add my Amazon wish list. It's not a must, but people are asking for my details, and that's one thing I will not be giving out. So I thought that's the only way I can safely do it until I can get a PO box set up. Anyway, so let's get to today. So first of all, I I con I have to take a look at my doctor's notes because obviously I can access it online, and I'm like. Doctors have informed me of my blood test. I went, well, that's a liar, because <laughs> no one's rang me. I probably get a phone call today, to be honest. Anyway, so it's showing borderline for my thyroid, borderline for my vitamin D, which I've been taking vitamin D tablets that I bought over the counter. <clears throat> Don't know what's happening with my voice. And then liver... <clears throat> Second, guys. Liver profile something or other that's borderline but when i've looked in the actual results it says a but it's higher than a normal so there's probably nothing to worry about but anyway that's oh, like i said i was just caught up because the dogs were back and i thought what time is it you know when you've thought right you've got your alarm on i'll just have a snooze and you're like oh my lord i've gone overboard and then I'm like, what day am I on? What time am I on? Because <laughs> I've got a repair guy coming out today to fix the bath panel and the trunking behind the, bath, the sink and the toilet. Because when they had, I had a leak that went downstairs, they took it all off and broke it. So I've been waiting like a couple of months for it to be replaced. Yeah. So let's see what get up to today because I made a gear kiss that it will... Olivia tried to make a cake in for her schoolwork. You know, the old school pudding with ice on top. But she was like, oh, can't be bothered. I said, you've got to do it in schoolwork. So today, she's going to... I try and get as much cooking in as I can. Every, probably twice a week with her. So she wants to make chocolate brown ones, so she can make them today on her own. And I'll sit back and watch. But I usually get her to write the information down so I can put it in a book uh, and then I've took a picture of yesterday so I can attach it to a book so then they've got proof that she's do school work she's gonna do a bit of science today I just need to have a look online and see because there is somewhere online that you can use uh, is it Twinkle I don't know I know there's another one anyway I'll catch you in a bit guys <laughs> sorry I'm not laughing laughing because I'm just laughing at myself because I'm just being like, I'm just cocked up. <laughs> so I think even my dryer's broke and it isn't. I just have to clean the filter. That's underneath near the water tank. I always forget about that thing. So now I've got to remind myself, once a month, it needs cleaning. It clogged. Now it's working fine. So I can crack on with all my washing. Workman's been this morning to fix my bath panel and trunking by the toilet. It's coming back out at one o'clock to fix the uh, under the kitchen unit it's got that white thing that is it a kickboard what you call oh that's what you called it I think that needs replacing because last time the guys came out to fix the leak they cracked the wood yeah I'm glad that's done because I do not like people in my home I know it sounds weird I just People that I don't know and I get weird, I don't know, I get that awful vibe, like, oh, it's weird, get out. 
Um, because yeah, I don't even like them other people being in my house. I like me, I like to be in my own company. That's what I like because then I've got no one to answer to, no one to be questioned. Uh, I'm getting questioned over stuff, so I like to keep. This, and I think that's that, that down to past issues with people. Anyhow, I was going to say something I can't remember. Oh, a professional therapist rang. Now they're through the IHTT at the minute, so when I get transfer care back to my CPN, then that'll get transferred over. So I'm seeing her on Sunday, and she's going to t try and find words which can help me improve stuff around the home, because I'm struggling with housework, cooking, cleaning, whatever you want to call it. I do have an electric chair, but I don't always like to use it because, you know, it just, I feel like I'm getting trapped with my big bum, my big thighs, get stuck. Uh, and I don't like, it's nothing worse than like, get, you know, when you've got a broken toilet seat and you get your ass, oh, I mean, butt, butt cheek, stuck in your, ah, -ha! that's what I feel like it is with my chair. Um, so she's going to try that. And also, ways I, I can improve on going out. Uh, you know, not fear that I'm going to fall because at the minute I am falling a hell of a lot and even around the house I can fall and I have to apologise to my neighbours to hear the bang it with me my, my big bum went on the floor and I'm like a turtle on my back, I can't get up <laughs> um, I have also been looking at my ability scooters now, mm, I feel like uh, I know someone around my age that has one and she's on TikTok and she has fibro and Another thing, endometriosis or something, I can't say that, it's too, a bit of a long word for me. But um, she has to use it and she says she gets funny looks. But I feel like I'd be the same, am I going to be worried, I'm going to get watched and stuff. Because I get pretty tired when I'm walking, my, leg, my lower legs from my knee downwards, you know the muscle bit, I feel like that. So I don't tend to go out as much. I used to go out with dog all the time, morning, dinner, tea, bed. Now I thought about it and I thought I can get those lightweight ones that I can fold up, put in the back of the car for when I go shopping. At least I got so I can go around the shops without having to stop. Then start, then stop. And I'd love to go into the town centre and I've not been in there for some time now. And I'd just love to go, Ooh. yeah. And I know Hazda doesn't, but I'm afraid to ask. I do get scared to ask, and I don't even know how to use one. How do you use one? It's easy to use. Because it's going to be a point where I'm going to, I am thinking about my mum and Tommy no to stop driving because sometimes it hurts. And, and I've got, it's an automatic car, so it's just my right leg, pop, pedal, pedal. But sometimes when I get out of that car, I'm like, oh, it's like the legs, the back. Ugh. And you never know what to do with your left leg. Can't just chop it off and just put it in the back seat. But yeah, let me know, guys. Do you have a mobility scoop for your fibro or mobility? Am I too. I won't say I'm too young because I'm 45. Do you think people will look at me weird if I got one myself? But I know that might improve me getting out more and. Being out with dog, you know, enjoying life again. Um, because right now I'm just confined to this flat and it's not healthy. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think? And I have looked up, I have been researching them, and the cheapest one I've seen is two grand. And I'm like, hmm, no, I can't afford that. I don't go that kind of funds. Anyway, guys. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm going to have to go now and wait for this guy to return and then wipe down all the units again and put all my cleaning products back in the cupboard again because I've had to take it all out. <sighs> anyway, see you later guys.